Hell yeah, welcome everybody to some Pikmin 4, but not the official game. We're playing the demo today. Originally, I was gonna record some Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, which I don't know if you could hear my keyboard, but I was typing over the video title for this, and so I was like, oh shit, I forgot to change the name of it. It's beautiful. But yes, we're playing Pikmin 4. Um, I'll be honest, I've already played some of the demo, and by some of it, I mean I've completely played the entire thing. I'm already used to the controls and everything. I've played through it twice now. This is my third time playing through it. And I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm gonna be going for 100%. First time I played it, I played it like how I usually play a Pikmin 4 game. Second time I played it... Alright, so this is my first playthrough of it right here. Um, it took me five days to play through it because I was still messing around with everything. I got 2,959 Sparklium. And I rescued seven people. The third one, I mean the second time... I played, got 34,415 34, Sparkly M and 9 people rescued. And I kind of um, practiced, but we're going to see if we can get 100% on it again. Alright, game progress is saved automatically, yes. One player, because the two player mode in this game sucks. I'm very excited for Pikmin 4. Originally, I was just going to play it blind and just play it and have fun. But on my second playthrough, the second time I played it, by the way, I was only checking to see how many, how much I could do until the game was like, alright, you can't do anything else. And in the end, I ended up being like, there's got to be a way to do everything, right? And I got 100%. I didn't think I'd be able to, but I did it. Alright, I am Captain Olimar. I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. Let me sit up straight for this. I gotta give the game the respect it deserves. This is a story of how I crashed onto an unknown planet. And how I was ultimately rescued. Let's have the volume a little bit up because I also want to be able to hear it. I have it down on my um, headset but up on the TV. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. I mean, I don't know, man. It's still in... One piece, just some bits are done. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. So up the quality on the video, so I hope it's noticeable. Looks like the story of Pikmin 1 almost. I mean, it's pretty similar, honestly. This is exactly what happened in Pikmin 1. We haven't played that on the channel, we'll play it at some point. Until I encountered a strange species, which I named Pikmin. The pigment had an innate desire or will to carry objects. I didn't see you create more. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. This is new. Time passed and I met yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be malnourished. So I tossed over a treat. He just happened to have a bone on him. After that, we quickly bonded. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. The quest I was nearing its end. I'm gonna try not to spoil anything. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. And it says plus minus to skip because I've played it already. That's the only reason. What is this place? Oof. Come on, Olimar. I fixed your ship multiple times already. Because I played Pikmin 1 like three times already. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Also, my voice sounds different because I don't know why. I'm not sick, but I, like, I guess I have a lot of mucus in my throat or something. I don't know, but something's hitting me. Wait, where are you running off to? That seems like more than 100, but aren't. Right. Yeah, there they go having fun. Look at them. Disobeying their captain. Oh my god, Santa. 
Get the punishment ready. That can't be a good sign. The pigmen don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. And the dog's name is Moss, by the way. I found out. Alright, cool. Look at how beautiful this game is. My god, I still can't get over the fact that we're in a human house and everything. Uh, <laughs> I already want to do like the stuff that I'm not able to do yet. Alright. I thought some of the pigmen head this way. Uh, yes, I know how to do this. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup's strength. This is a pretty big pup. I just need to press X and hold down, t then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let go and let her rush. Alright, Omar, you've got this. Boom. Pikmin. As if I didn't know what a Pikmin was. Me, the king of Pikmin games. I've only played one on the channel, but relax. One and three will come eventually. Four, I don't know if I'll do that as soon as it comes out or not, but I'm doing the demo, aren't I? Aha, I knew it. Now I'll use B and hold down. Uh, that's kind of a weird way of, like, I guess because B, if you just tap B, he just whistles once. But if you hold B, that's when he calls them. To call them back to me while I with my whistle. So it got. It took me a little while to get used to like holding B to whistle and then using the gyro on the controller to like move it around. It took me a long while to figure that one out. I just wish I knew why the pigment ran away and hid in the first place. I'm using the pro controller, by the way. I didn't think I'd like the controls on this because I'm so used to pigment one and two on Wii, so always having the pointer controls. But I'm honestly, this isn't a bad fit. I like the controls. I, I'm gonna have to get used to it though because I only know the controls so far from the what the the demo allows me to use so maybe there's like extra stuff that like oh maybe you can like do the the roll dodge like in pikmin 3 or whatever i just wish i knew why the pikmin ran away and hid in the first place did i say that already oh whatever hmm i better make a note of this in my voyage log recording log record later recording log you never know what when this kind of information will prove useful now how to phrase it Version 10.2.6 Strange Pikmin Behavior When I arrived at this area, these Pikmin- I mean, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. Olimar, number 76, Strange Pikmin Behavior. Oh, uh, I also went to Charlie's before I started recording this, so like, I'm like kind of paying for it now. I need to find my, my missing ship parts, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Alright, cool. Yes, and I can do the jump and the dash now, so that's good. I also know where they're at already. Just to make this more streamlined. Alright, seven of them. At least I have a few more Pikmin now. Um, Were they? I can't remember if... No, there isn't. Oh, damn. One good rush could break those. There you go, and I get yellows now. I knew I'd find you here. Don't look before you leap. I still don't know if I want the camera angle to be like this. Because it's nice. Like, I love having it like this. But also, I'm used to Pikmin 1 and 2 where it's like... Kind of like... Kind of like this? A little bit? I don't know yet. Alright, let's look around for these. Alright, so there's some up there. Call these over. Slam these down. I hear something. I'll use right stick to take a peek. Yes, I know, Olimar. Don't worry. I know exactly where they're all at. Whoa! I didn't notice that one was hiding behind the pillow. Oh, they just kind of whistle everywhere. I hope I don't miss one. There you go. You see, like, you see how I hold B and now, like, I'm able to do this? This is me moving the, control s the controller using gyro. But then as soon as I... It's not whistling anymore, I'm still moving the controller around, but nothing's happening. Also, when you throw your Pikmin, you can also use Gyro to throw them. That, I don't know if I'll be able to get used to that. I'm used to, like, whistling and having that. But throwing the Pikmin and using Gyro, I don't know if I'll be able to get used to that. I don't. I might not do that. Alright, so there's those. And these. And I wonder what's behind this. There you go. Let's rush 
with X and check it out. Well, I already did it. All Omar said. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Why isn't he coming up here? Oh, I have to come up down here. All right, there you go. All right. Also, Moss can only jump so high, so you know, he can't jump super high. Actually, can I? No, I can't. All right, never mind. All right, I'll explore that area over there later. I know I see some yellows over there, but first we're gonna go over here. Could those Pikmin be playing? Yeah, they're having fun and everything, but you know, we've got a job to do. Alright, come on, boys. You're done playing. Alright, I think that's everything. I didn't leave any up there, right? No. Also, just like in Pikmin 1 and 2, I'm not used I'm not used to having a right stick that like goes like this. I'm used to running around, hitting the camera button, boom, boom. So I'll be doing this more often than doing this and having an actual like 360 camera. I'm just like, even in Super Mario 64 DS, I didn't use the, like the, the touchpad to move the camera to go like this. I was still doing this. I don't know why I'm just like, in, it's just ingrained in me. Like I have to play like this. All right. So more of the yellows over here. There's some blue ones over here. I hope I don't miss one because I... The second time I played this, I missed one and I had to look around everywhere for him. Or it, I guess. Because I don't know if Pikmin are male or female or have genders or whatever. Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely on upon my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those ship parts, girl. Oh, there it is. We need to stay on that scent. Can I still not? Nope. And Olimar can't get off Moss. Using right stick helps keep track of the scent. Yes, I know Olimar, but I'm more used to ZL, all right? I mean, every so often I'll do that to so be like, all right, cool, like really quickly and stuff. But then like every so often I'll be like, boom, boom. Also this fan, just uh, feel that gust of wind. I didn't actually mean to get on it, but it just pushes you up here. Oh wait, there's yellow pigment over there. I'll go over there soon. Hold up. I gotta make sure I get them off. I mean, I'll probably get tired of hearing the the little whistle sound every time that like, you push ZL. I think there's somewhere here. Did that crash just move? Yep. Lose. I mean, I actually didn't see it move. I already knew they were down there. And also, there's some down here, so I'll get those. Get these. And in the overworld right now, I think Olimar has 99 Pikmin. I should tap X to jump and climb up. Yeah, that's in my ear. Alright, come on, guys. I have plenty of Pikmin now. You might have plenty of Pikmin now, Olimar. But where are those ship parts? But no man left behind. That's how I play Pikmin. We're getting all of them. Alright, so there's 80. Um, was there some up here? I can't remember. Huh? Let's get them down with a rush. Yep, there is. Alright. There's these guys over here. I guess some in the pots. You can't hide from me. Aha! Found you. I don't have them all yet. All right. Those might be it. Yep, that's all of them. There's only 99. I tried everywhere. I've looked everywhere for 100. I don't think there's 100 Pikmin out here. I've looked everywhere for one straggler. Every single time. All three times. Well, there's a third time also. But the first two times, I literally spent like... Like maybe like 10 minutes looking around everywhere. Making sure I missed one. I think only 9 99. If I'm wrong, then I guess I didn't 100%. But this is just like the... The... the um. What's it called? Like in Fire Emblem? The, um... The chapter before the prologue? Um... What the hell is that called? Premonition! There you go, I think. Do I want to know what's up there? Yes, you do, Olimar! Take it down! A creature? I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed it one whole? Well, you're used to that, Olimar. We've had to kill a lot of monsters for treasure, for ship parts, for a bunch of stuff. Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. 
Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. Don't worry, Olimar, I've got this. I've never let you down. We'll get that thing to take back my part. Use X now. X to rush now. Don't worry, Olimar, I've got this. There we go. Easy. I kind of missed, but whatever. Yes, it's going to work. This is going to work. Hey, there's that thing from Pikmin 1. The SOS thing that everyone was talking about in all the... All the, um... Theory videos. This is the one that you get with the blue Pikmin, right? I think it's near the blue Pikmin? I know it's in the Force Naval. It's the Interstellar Radio. We've located at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. I had recovered the interstellar radio. So I immediately sent out an SOS signal. That's not where it was last time, Olimar. Don't fuck with me. And attach the latest version of my voyage log. What would happen if I put record later? Days and weeks passed, but one month later... My signal reached the rescue corps. The rescue corps. They took off toward this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. The rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Double shipwrecks are rare, and extremely unlucky. At this point, you might think that all hope was lost. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ, a rookie, you. Sorry, just plugging in my laptop just in case it starts dying. That's right, you are my last hope. Emergency mission. Rescue the Rescue Corps. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed Rescue Corps is now your top priority. Is there only one Rescue Corps? Why were all of the important people on that one? Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Yes. I'll be honest, I hate the generic design. Usually I stick with the generic design no matter what. But I don't like this generic design. I don't know why. A lot of people like it, but I think it's... whatever. Um... Hmm... I'm gonna go with the second one. I like the small one. I already created my character. I really like this one, though. This is probably my favorite generic one. Like, out of the, the four generic ones... This one, too. This one's funny. I like the mustache. This is my favorite one. I like the pointy nose. But, I'm gonna go with the one I designed for my first playthrough. So... Oh, wait, I didn't even notice this one. Um, I thought the funniest... Alright, so I went with this. Um, my hair... Was it this one? I actually don't remember. Um, I kind of like this one. It might have been this one. I went with the red hair. Yes, red hair. And honestly, I do like the red suit the most out of them all. So, red suit. And I'm sticking with Junior, JR, so yes. Ready to deploy? Yes. Rescue Corps Officer Junior. Home Planet, uh, Carrot? Carrot? Or Karoot? Honestly, it might just be a play on, like, pick, pick carrots and Pikmin, so Carrot. I'm just gonna say it's Carrot. The Rescue Corps' newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. Yes. I love how he's just like, whatever about everything. He's like, eh, whatever, I guess. It's a living. Not only my fate. This is Olimar talking, by the way. But the fate of the Rescue Corps. We got these astro meteorites or whatever. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. As far as you know, Olimar, but all of my experience comes from um, controlling you and the other games.
By the way, I've spent my entire time the last since Tears of the Kingdom came out. All of my time has been spent playing Tears of the Kingdom. The only times I've taken a break from Tears of the Kingdom is to either squad up with Rolando and Martin on Apex, uh, recording, uh, search for the missing rescue officers, uh, recording the Paper Mario videos that I've recorded, and playing the Pikmin 4 Deluxe. I mean, Pikmin 4 demo. Oh my god, look at how great this is. I'm just playing Pikmin 4. When I play through Pikmin 4, I'll probably play the this again. Honestly, like this part. I don't know if I'll skip it. Also, I'm not a big fan of Ochi. I don't know why. It's kind of ugly. Not gonna lie. Ochi. Rescue Core, Rescue Pup. Home Planet, uh, Gia or Gaia. This young loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Mission Rescue Rescue Corps. Found the rescue pup. It's very lucky that you find him immediately. Imagine if he was the last one you found. You encounter the rescue corps' rescue pup, Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. He counts as one of the rescue um officers? I guess. Alright, Ochi, let's go. Or, I mean, well, you lead me. You found someone in need of rescuing. Okay, there you go. Alright, Ochi, we've got to get to him. There we go. Begin rescue operations at once. Alright, go ahead. It would have been cool if, like, I got to help, but all I can do is punch. Come on, Oshi, you've got this. I'll hit the dirt. There we go. All the dirt has been removed. Alright, good job. I think he gave him a thumbs up. Ugh. Hmm. Huh? Is that you, Ochi? Sup? I'm Junior. Thank the stars, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. This doesn't make any sense. Were they busy rescuing other people? How did I get their SOS so quickly, but it took a month to get Olimar's? So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the Rescue Corps. Rescue Corps officer Colin, home planet Gaia or Gia. As the Rescue Corps comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers, but he's handy with a wrench. Alright, found comms operator Colin. You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps' comm operator. Comms operator. That's one down. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? My path got caught off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Junior, isn't it? I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of our Rescue Corps, well... It was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Uh, what happened? I have no idea. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find the ca we came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I mean, it is pretty embarrassing, honestly. Not gonna lie. I've confirmed that our ship, a uh, spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Uh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I don't know why this scene just makes me laugh. He's like, and if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. And I'm just like, uh. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap up on the D-pad to the on the left side where 
why am I messing this sentence up? Tap, le uh, tap up on the D-pad on the left side there to open and review your missions. Oh, I'll do it right now. I hope you guys can't hear the ice cream truck. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are priority, are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up on the D-pad to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Alright, cool. And ID badges, it's just them. Everyone else is still missing. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepherd. You've got it. Alright. Hey, there it is. Easy. There she is, the SS Shepherd. That didn't take very long. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. Alright. How did you not get over there? Well, I guess we can't climb. Or well, climb that area. Anyway, there's no getting up there. I already tried. Oh, really? I didn't even notice he said that. I just kind of was being stupid. The planet, the plants on this planet are gigantic. Oh, let's make sure the area is safe with R. Oh, what's that over there? Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there. And we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. Interesting. What's over here? It's impossible to get over the ledge. Is it? There's something under that dirt. He's probably tried already too. Get over here, Ochi. Come on. We're burning daylight. Get over there, Ochi. What could this be? I mean, I don't know, man. You tell me. You're the one who's been on the planet longer than I have. This is a perfect job for the rescue pup. For a rescue pup. They're known for being d excellent diggers. Good pup, Ochi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. Damn, that went by fast. Almost there. Whoa. I like the way it pops open. I don't know why. You can see why rescue puffs are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh. This looks like this is this looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. It looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. Um, for real? A rescue officer must act with courage in the face of any danger. Though it does look pretty dark down there. I mean, you're crazy, but I guess... Burrow of Beginnings, sub-level 1.